What's up everybody, Jengar the Orc here, back again with another episode of Back to the Future. So, Doc, does this conundrum. ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. Good oh. grief! Is that me? I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. So now I gotta go tell him the answer. I was able to figure out what he was saying by using the tape recorder like I thought. It was a lot more complicated than I thought it was going to be, too. Just going to wait right here for him to come by. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the... Hamiltonian operator? Yeah. Great Scott! If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about... science? Well, it's like this. If you know about my rocket power drill, then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power really, drill? Really of course, of course. Drill. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Now nah, that's no good. I need yeah, to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. Arthur McFly? I've got a subpoena my grandpa. No! <gasps> Shh! It's Kid Tannen. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. So, talk to him. Don't talk to him. Maybe hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors what that something shady scoop? is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. 
We make hot soup deliveries. You make soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls, or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. Yeah, I can I help deliver a lot soup. Of time Why not? To charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, uh, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just <laughs> fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. As a matter of fact, I do know a local know charity, a charity that's running low on soup. Let's see oh, where that gets ooh. us. The orphanage. My, how those little ragamuffins can eat. What did that do? What am I trying to accomplish right now? Edna, just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. Mr. Donnelly! I don't know what I just did or how it's going to affect the story. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. Oh god. I might have completely screwed everything. A cue ball. What? The truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. Oh, so they're smuggling alcohol. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Yeah, it looks like liquid iron. Like you've been melting the damn pot. That didn't even remotely look like liquid. Hey, where do you think you're going? The kitchen? The kitchen's for management only, rummy. Uh, excuse me. Yeah? Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? So I've got to find a way past him. Uh, what kind of soup is this? It tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was going to say weak old cabbage. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Paprika? Paprika? Paprika, maybe. I, I, I just think you could use a little... Uh, color. Color? Hmm.
The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Damn it! What am I supposed to do here? <clears throat> this okay. game can be so frustrating sometimes. Hey, um, uh, never mind. What do I have to work with? I don't think that picture is going to do anything but confuse people. I don't think that picture is going to do anything but confuse people. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Any ideas about how to get the hooch? Hooch? The alcohol, Emmett. Ah, one might come to the conclusion that the hooch is being hidden in some of those barrels. You're probably right, but which ones? Now, if I could get my hands on some of those barrels, I could weigh them and compare their specific gravity. Specific gravity? Come on, Emmett. Kids goons aren't going to let us do an experiment on their barrels. No, oh, I suppose you're right. We'll just have to ask the guy behind the counter. What? Ask him if any of his barrels are filled with illegal moonshine? Get real here. Well, I imagined a modicum of subtlety would be used. Subtlety. Right. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. So maybe I gotta ask him to get something that he doesn't actually have. No way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. Okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Let's try parsley. parsley. It might help to uh, complement the mellow flavor of the cabbage. I don't know, maybe that's not compliment a common thing around here. What are you talking about? Trust me. Hmm. You might be on to something, kid. Let me see what I got. No, damn it, he had that too. The kitchen's for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Eli thought she was drunk and said to her, How long will you keep on getting drunk? Get rid of your wine. Eli should mind his own business. Emmett. Yes? Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no. Of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. Okay. I mean, even though he just grabbed the same damn bottle... There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Eureka! Alright, he's got something figured out.
Well, what the hell? I didn't expect that. Pretty neat, Doc. <laughs> nope. I'm still not getting through here. But at least those tables are propped up now. What did that have to do with anything? Yes? Oh. That's interesting. Just a little mechanical ingenuity. In the end, the door is open. Yeah, good job. Obviously, this kitchen isn't the speakeasy. Indeed. This must be some sort of front meant to cleverly and legally obfuscate the existence of a hidden establishment of ill repute. Perhaps in the basement. Right. That might explain the elevator. We'll score that hooch somehow. I'll keep cogitating. Sorry if I'm not talking much here. I, uh, I'm just really trying to figure this out. It's racking my brain, to be honest. I still think the soup needs more flavor. We're going to try all our options here. <clears throat> ah, Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tennant's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. Ooh, Kitty's got claws. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. Now all you have to do is to get it from her somehow. Oh, so I was trying to get her to get it? I didn't know what the hell I was trying to... I thought I was trying to grab the barrel from him. Nice bike. Huffy? Uh, huffy? I'm not Huffy. I'm passionate. Passionate about justice, safety, law, and order. Uh, n never mind. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit! Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Uh... Never mind, I'm wrong. The pool hall isn't a charity. Let me ask Doc not. Brown over here. Young Doc Brown. I got a book. Oh? Where? I don't want to say the wrong thing and have to do all this crap over again. There he is. You have 
have to deliver a lot of subpoenas? Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? I've seen him. We're a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back into hiding. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. We'll get that subpoena delivered. For my okay, name you're is not gonna Michael help. Michael Corleone. Yeah. I'm gonna take my chances and go talk to Mr. Tannen over here. What the hell, matches? You you got kiwi all over my socks. Sorry, boss. Get out of here. How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I guess I'm shining your shoes. Hey, I represent United Charities of Hill Valley. Can you authorize me to pick up soup from your establishment and deliver it to some very deserving souls? Nah, that Strickland dame's got the charity racket pretty much locked up. No point in giving her competition. Edna Strickland thinks your soup kitchen Without might Edna. not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great pair of gams, though. I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like this you? This has got to lead somewhere, like or else he wouldn't be Plus, sitting here for me to do it, right? It's all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh, office. Where's the office? I forget. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now, it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? Hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What am I going to do now? Why would I do that? What the hell's happening? Give me that hat, you lousy crook! Emmett! playing keep away with the hat. Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen. Hey! Al, fix me up! Ah, uh, you stepped in shit. You learn how to move like that. Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out.
We got a hint here. There you go, smell the hat, boy. Hey, honey, come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy, can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? That is one fucking goofy-looking dog, by the way. Where is he going? Only one way to find out. Deja vu. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Not sure what that- I have to press the button again? Someone's playing tricks on me. Not sure what that- Not sure what that- Not sure what that- Oh, great. Well, now what? This equipping and unequipping things is really annoying. What now? What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry, some other time. So it's going to be like that. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? We've got something for you. It's a sub a subscription to the... Accountant Weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, right. Ha <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave <laughs> that the That laugh, though. Sorry. <laughs> Some other time. It's the same laugh his dad has, I think. What now? Well, there's only it's one me or two again. more options. Please come down. Why? I'm your grand uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry, some other time. Okay, I'm gonna have to use something that I have. What now? So what have I got? Uh, Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing him a picture of his yet-to-be-born son could turn him into a vegetable. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Dr. 
Doc's notebook doesn't belong to them. All right, give me another hint. I gotta get something from the town center. Maybe. No. Well, well, look who's back. They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, matches. There, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! No way! I worked too hard to get it. Don't make me no angry, way. I worked too hard to get, get it. Get down here and face the music! And okay, not the hat. Can't get away that I don't easy. Think they're in a Nobody puts mood one right over now. on Kid Tannen and lives to tell about it. You're dead meat, twerp. Better start. Einstein, help! Stay off! Get away get from me, crazy get mutt! Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram! Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot! Alright, I don't really know what the point of that was. We, uh, we'll figure this out next time, guys. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, please follow. And, uh, please check out my YouTube channel, Jengar the Orc. J E N G A R the Orc. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.